Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to resolve the error you might be getting in Google Chrome, specifically the 521 error that says the web server is down. So this is pretty self-explanatory what I'm going to be going through in this video. And this is primarily a Google related issue. But I'm going to be showing hopefully a little workaround to fix this temporarily or permanently if you're continuing to get this error for an extended period of time. But anyway, we're just going to open up any web browser here. I'm just going to fittingly open up Google Chrome. It doesn't really matter which web browser you choose as long as we get to Google. So obviously some of you guys will not be able to access this page. You'd be getting an error if you tried to go on to google.com. So let's say for example that you're getting this issue when going on to Google. So open the URL bar. I'm actually going to type in ask.com. You could do Yahoo as well, but I'm just going to do ask.com. And I'm going to select that. So now that we're on the Ask page, we're going to type in Google and then at this point enter any other country that you could think of that you should be able to search with. So it preferably if you're an English speaker, I would select um, Google UK or Canada or United States depending on which regional version of Google you might be using otherwise. So for example, if you're in Canada, you might want to try typing in Google United States which should be the default Google page if I think correctly. And then if, for example, if you speak Spanish, you might want to select Mexico. But if you really think about it, I, I don't really know how many um, people who don't speak English watch my videos because they are in English. So it should pretty much just be another English speaking country you should enter here. So I'm just going to type in Google India just for um, simplicity here. Give a little shout out to my Indian viewers. So one of the top search results should say google.co.in. You want to left click on that. Now this will load the regional version of Google for India. So in English, you can type in English as well. It doesn't have to be in any of the Indian languages. I know there are quite a few, so I'm not even going to try and pronounce some of them. But anyway, we can just type in anything from here and just type in Wikipedia. We see that everything appears normal. You still search Google the way you normally would. And if for some reason you were having a prolonged period that you couldn't access your region's version of Google, you could just create a new home page and just set this to be your home page. And then that would obviously be different depending on which web browser you're using. But if you happen to notice that this using another country's Google version helps resolve your issue, I would suggest just continue to use that. And if you wanted to change your home page to whatever site works for you guys, so you could just copy the URL for this Google page. And then if you go underneath settings from the menu icon up in the top right corner, just left click on it and then left click on settings near the bottom of this drop down menu. If you scroll down on this page, left click on show advanced settings. So on this page underneath on startup, left click on open a specific page or set of pages. And then left click on set pages. At this point just paste in whatever Google version that you wanted to use now. So just set that and then left click on OK. So now if we close out of the web browser and I reopen Google Chrome Keep in mind this will be different if you're using Firefox, it won't appear to be the same. But this should load the Indian version of Google, which for all intents and purposes is Google. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.